Hi there, my name is Andriana and welcome to my channel. Uh, I finally decided also to uh, use one of my old uh, Diane Rivley art journal and I decided to play with uh, Jane Davenport paints, acrylic paints. And as you can see, I had some kind of texture paste uh, on the back and I think that uh, this stencil is from Tim Holtz. It is a heart uh, a shaped stencil and uh, I really like when those uh, acrylic paints from Jane Davenport flow when you add water to it. Uh, this is something that uh, I forgot you know to do when uh, you have a stencil and uh, texture paste. Uh, I usually make uh, my own uh, texture paste and the gesso white uh, mainly because um, when I buy also from um, USA it is heavy you know and then always the shipping is much higher when you have heavier things so I just decided you know to make my own. Uh, some uh, have this uh, granier, I think you call it like that, uh, texture and some of them have uh, much more smoother texture and it always depends how uh, the baby powder which you use for the gesso and texture paste is, um, is it um, expensive or the cheap one and I really like that I of course have uh, that ability I, I saw a video on YouTube and I said yes this is good for me and I will try to make my own uh, texture paste and white gesso for the future as well. If you want to see video make me making this please let me know I can show you this is very very easy thing to do. Uh, my main uh, thing about the uh, this Arjano page, I had hearts on my mind. Uh, this page is going to be much more darker than the, the previous ones, but uh, I really believe that it's also about when, um, how do you feel and uh, of course how do you, um, what kind of colors do you use or you know something like that. Uh, I just wrote something uh, here on the left side of the page with some food ball and I did not want that everyone sees this so I just know it's there and I covered it with some white paint and of course after that I just used uh, some of the other uh, colors just to implement every comp not comp sorry I always mess the words um, combine everything together. I also use some Distress Spray Stain in Picket Fans from Tim Holtz. Uh, I really like this because it's very, very... I like to use those splashes. Uh, then you see me with some paint over pen in white from Jane Davenport. I just enhance those hearts because I want them to pop on the right side of this page. Uh, I don't know how about you guys, but I really, really enjoy art journaling. Uh, I really like to make pages better and make make them pop and make them, you know. It's very, very nice when I go through the old old art journals and see what kind of things did I use then, uh, what kind of mistakes I made then, you know. And it's very very nice when you pull out like like this one, uh, this old Dan Rivlis journal, and see what I did two three years ago. This is very very funny for me as well. Uh, then I decided that I would like to have more hearts, and I just uh, inked the with uh, archival ink. Uh, I used this Dina Weekly heart. Uh, them set uh, of course cut it and I also used other hearts from that stamp set 
uh, for my background as well because I noticed that this black is not this uh, stamp set is not going to show much uh, if you do not add something else so I just decided you know to stamp them uh, also besides the, the my main or should I say focal point this big heart uh, on this uh, I am continuing continuing to read and exercise according to this Miss uh, Yelena James book and I can tell you so far I really like it uh, and I think that I'm going to make this uh, book review for you as well and show you what's inside because uh, so far it's helping me you know in some ways to use you know uh, the, the items uh, from the from the book of course I will give her the credit because I really know that it's very hard when you are making something that somebody just steals it away and call it your own I'm not like that so and uh, I think that I'm going to show you that as well so I think it's going to be very helpful for you too now I just decided to make border but only on the left on and right side and I made it with some black uh, uh, Posca pen and then I will just use some kind of markings with some um, jelly roll pen in white you know just to give this page some kind of uh, finished look as I call it because when you put that border all all around you know it looks much much uh, nicer so guys this is it uh, for today I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you are going to join me in this adventure of art journaling and if you have any kind of questions or, or comments please leave them below and of course I will see you in another video Bye.